Hello, everyone. Again, this is Dr. David, and I'm here with Sherry Platt and our speaker today, Anel Norman. And really, before when I first met Anel, I met her through a, 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 a mutual friend who also I met through another friend called Todd Houston, who is a remarkable person, and he'll, he'll probably be on this webinar very soon, on this platform very soon, as well as uh, Maya, who introduced me to Anel. And it was an interesting story. Maya uh, had struggled with um, severe stomach trouble and severe allergies for years and years and years. And she had gone to several different doctors, uh, several, uh, taken several, tried several modalities, and it just wasn't working. Until mm -hmm. she finally met Anel. And after some tests and some check it, uh, after she, I guess she, investigated a little, little further than most and found out that Maya had been suffering from gluten intolerance. I hope I, hope I got that right. And with a few adjustments here and there, Maya's decades-long agonizing struggle suddenly was turned around, and specifically because she was able to find out what the problem was. And so it's it's remarkable what we, what can be found out if you decide to look in a slightly different way than what most people, the general direction that most people look in. And so therefore, it's really, really, an, uh, uh, I would say, <laughs> it's an honor to have Anel on to to talk about things that are very, very important about how the human body works. And uh, if you got the email, remember there are. There's a health questionnaire and there's an, a metabolic assessment questionnaire that I believe is on our site right now. And you can download that and follow with the presentation. I think she's going to be referring to that during the presentation. And uh, Sherry, I think I'm also going to hand this over to you to introduce Anel. Okay. Um, Anel Norman, functional medicine specialist trained in both holistic and conventional medicine. With a degree in complementary medicine from University of Westminster in London, having specialized in both functional and homeopathic medicine. Anel reads blood chemistry and endocrinology lab results from a functional perspective for clients across North America. Whether you are dealing with an acute ailment such as a cold, flu, or injury, or a chronic one such as blood sugar, thyroid, hormonal, energy, or autoimmune, or um, celiac disease, I'm not sure if I said that correct, food sensitivities, or mood disorders, Anel can assist you in restoring health and balance in your life. So we, again, I'll echo what David said. We are very grateful, Anel, to you for you uh, taking time out of your very busy life to share this wonderful information with our webinar attendees. So over to you, Anel. Thank you, David, and thank you, Sherry. This has um, been a very interesting and exciting process to prepare for this. Um, and as I was saying earlier to the two of you, it's been um, an interesting process because I, I organized my life around not being stressed as much as possible. Um, of course, I'm not totally successful with that, but this process has um, introduced me to some technological tools and taken me to a place where I was totally unfamiliar with what I needed to do. And I hope that uh, our audience this evening has some compassion with um, some of us who are not quite so sophisticated in terms of technology. Um, but the, there are several forms of stress. Um, one of them, of course, is coming up for most of us here in North America physiological stress in the form of cold, uh, damp, uh, freezing weather, uh, driving conditions and so forth. So our environment offers us an opportunity to experience physiological stress. Then there is chronic stress, uh, the sort that we have from uh, going to our jobs and um, experiencing the economic situation. And then of course there's acute stress and we will talk about all of that, how it affects your health, and um, and what you can do about it. Uh, David mentioned, and I encourage each of you to go to the website and pull, uh, download the forms. There's one called Neurotransmitter, 
assessment form and another one called metabolic assessment form. And if you can fill those out, if you haven't already, while you're listening with one ear, then um, it will be very helpful for you in terms of really making sense of what all of this means to you. So we've talked about that already. And in fact, um, the, the next slide, this slide, has to do with the first of those metabolic assessment forms. Um, if you want to either print off um, this slide, which I think you can do, or perhaps just come back to it. You can play it um, back after you have already assessed yourself on the metabolic assessment form. Then it will start to make sense to you. Um, on the left here, I've given you the key for the metabolic assessment form, what each of those categories stand for. Um, so category one has to do with how your colon and your digestion is working. And if you're answering uh, positive to most all of those questions and or you have some pretty significant symptoms so that you're scoring uh, 8 to 15 in that category, then you've definitely got some issues with your colon and your digestion. The second category has to do with how uh, your stomach acid is doing. Now, lots of people are under the impression that um, we have too much stomach acid, and just the opposite is the truth. Most of us don't have enough stomach acid to properly digest our food so that by the time it gets into the small intestine and the lower intestine, it's not broken down so that it can be absorbed, but rather it's, being, um, it's fermenting in there because it's still uh, little pieces of corn, little pieces of meat, little pieces of green bean instead of little packets of fat and um, protein and vitamins and minerals. So having enough hydrochloric acid is really, really important. And one of the things that surprises me and um, dismays me is that Pepsid is the number one selling drug in America. And Pepsid, of course, is meant to lower stomach acid. Um, this is very misguided. It has more to do with treating the symptom rather than treating the cause. And that is really what I'm all about, is finding the cause, finding the source of the problem and treating it there. You know, there's an old story about a steam engine. Uh, this is back in the old days when steam engines uh, traveled up and down the Mississippi. And there was a mighty steam engine that um, hauled thousands and thousands of dollars worth of cargo up and down the Mississippi. And one day, the steam engine broke down. And the captain of the ship brought all sorts of engineers and mechanics and repairmen in. And no one could fix it. And he, and he of course, was losing thousands of dollars every day. So he heard about a fellow um, that he had to send a message for. And the man came from um, quite some distance away. And he, when he finally arrived, he was so thrilled to see him because people had told him that he would be able to fix the problem. So the man came on board, listened to the captain's story, um, fired up a couple of valves, listened to the engine. Then he walked over into a corner, pulled a little tiny hammer out of his belt, and tapped on a lever. And in an instant, the steam engine sprang into life and everything was chugging and puffing and the captain was just overjoyed. He was thrilled, jumping up and down and he shook the man's hand and he said, oh, this is fabulous. How much do I owe you? And this was a very long time ago when $1,500 was a lot of money. And the man said to the captain, that'll be $1,500. And the captain was taken aback. He said, what? All you did was 